Hello and welcome to News Hits, and this news updates is coming from Afghan Taliban, where Taliban says people who worked for foreign forces in Afghanistan will be safe as long as they show remorse and should not leave the war-ravaged country. They shall not be in any danger on our part. None should currently desert the country, a statement released by the armed group said on Monday. The Islamic Emirate would like to inform all the above people that they should show remorse for their past actions and must not engage in such activities in the future that amount to treason against Islam and the country. The statement came as the United States and NATO forces are continuing to pull out, after U.S. President Joe Biden set September 11th as the deadline to end Washington's 20-year military involvement in the country. Thousands of Afghans worked with the international forces in the past 20 years as interpreters, security guards, and helpers in other capacities. They fear retaliation from the Taliban once the foreign forces have left. Many have applied for special visas to leave the country. Several countries, including the US, Germany and Britain, have programs to resettle their local staff. The applications of about 18,000 Afghans seeking a special immigration visa are currently pending at the U.S. Embassy in Kabul, according to embassy data. Thousands of others have already been resettled to the countries they have worked with. Last week, the Taliban also tried to calm foreign embassies after the Australian mission shut down in Kabul. The group said it would provide a safe environment for these missions to work even after foreign forces leave the country. Play video according to No One Left Behind a U.S. non-governmental organization, about 300 people who worked as local staff for the U.S. military or their family members have been killed since 2016. In the past, the Taliban said Afghans working with the invaders are traitors or slaves. The group called on these Afghans to show remorse for their past actions and says they should not engage in such activities in the future. We viewed them as our foes when they were directly standing in the ranks of our enemies, the statement added, but when they abandon enemy ranks and opt to live as ordinary Afghans in their homeland, they will not face any issues. They are tracking us, Omid Mahmoudi, an interpreter who worked with U.S. forces between 2018 and 2020, told AFP news agency last week, the Taliban will not pardon us, they will kill us and they will behead us. Another interpreter, Omar, who worked with the U.S. Embassy for about 10 years, feared that without leaving the country he would not evade the Taliban for long. I regret working for the U.S. It was the biggest mistake of my life, said Omar, who asked AFP not to use his full name. My own uncle and cousins call me an agent of America.